In Python, there are many reasons you might want to understand what your current IP address is. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how we can actually retrieve that with minimal code. So we're going to actually be using vanilla Python for this. And all we need to do is import RE. And we're going to go ahead and use another native module, which is the URL library dot request. And from that, we're going to import URL open, which works a lot like the requests module. We're just going to open a link that tells us the IP address and we're going to read the binary data and we're going to return it in human readable form. So to do this, we'll just create a function called get IP and that's going to return to us a string. Now, first we need to get the source and the source is going to be the URL that we want to open. So in this example, we're going to go HTTP double dot double slash and check dot IP dot DYN dns.com. And this is going to return to us the response with our IP address incredibly quick. After that, we want to make sure that we can actually read this data because when we get this back, it's not going to be readable to us. So we're going to have to decode that source data. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and convert the source dot read to a string. Now, if we go ahead and print this data, you're going to notice that it's not going to give us exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and try to print this. So get IP. And when we go ahead and run this, you're going to notice that we're going to get a lot of irrelevant data, such as all of this HTML stuff and the IP address that we actually want to get. So we want to isolate this so we will only have the IP address. And to do that, I'm going to close this and I'm going to continue on this exact line. And we're going to be using some regex for this. So IP string is going to equal re.search and we need to search for the following pattern and it's going to be backslash D plus backslash dot. And we need to use this four times because that's what creates an IP address, except on the last one, of course, you can omit the last dot because all we need is a digit, a dot, a digit, a dot, a digit, a dot, a digit. So anything that follows this pattern is surely going to be an IP address. And since this website only returns to us our current IP address, we're always going to get our IP address. And we want to search for this in the data, and then we want to group it. Then we can go ahead and return the IP string. And this time, if we go ahead and assign this to a variable and print the IP, we're going to have our full IP address printed to the console. And that's how you grab your current IP address from Python using only native Python modules. But there are so many ways to grab the IP address in Python. So definitely feel free to share one of your implementations in the comment section down below so we can always compare it and learn something new. I always love to see what you guys come up with or if there's some sort of easier version that I'm not aware of, of course. But as always, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.